though the pacing was really terrible in this episode, I love the Sanji moments with Violet. Oh man, this isn't something we normally don't get to see in the One Piece actual storyline. I mean, we know Sanji loves his women. We all know this by now if you're this far into One Piece. But it's really awesome when you get to see an episode focused around Sanji and his obsession with women. And to make it even more funny is the way they actually animated Violet a lot better than anything else in this episode. I don't know if anyone else noticed that, but the animation on Violet literally just felt so weird compared to everything else in this episode because it looked like her animation was like completely different from anything going on. It was really beautiful animation, something you would actually see in the opening song of Wake Up, and so I was just kind of weirded out by it, but I love the animation style on her character and it added her a unique feeling. Violet so far, her introduction I think is really good. The voice actor, I, I will say, nailed Violet's actual character persona, so I, I like that so far. But Sanji's antics of literally just where Violet holds him about to go into an embrace and kiss, and when you see Sanji's next thing, he's bleeding all over, he's like, I'm in heaven, and it's just, <laughs> I love Sanji so much. Sanji is probably one of my favorite characters just because of how he acts in these type of scenes. I mean, the man almost died from a nosebleed in Fishman Island arc. He's gonna die again if he keeps this up. And I mean, he, he heard Violet's story like, oh, I stabbed a man and all that. And then all of a sudden he's like, I love you. The passion. <laughs> just <laughs> Sanji. Sanji is a freaking boss. I love Sanji so much when he has these type of moments because, it, it, I don't know, even though it's not original in One Piece, there's something about his character that always gets me smiling and happy when I see these scenes. So it actually made me overlook the actual very bad, bad, really terrible pacing of this episode. I mean, not much really exactly happened in this episode, which, like I said, got covered up by pretty much Sanji this episode. I like the different styles of just how the animation was. That was what I really noticed, and the actual remix Sanji theme song. I don't know if anyone else noticed that either, but there was a new Sanji theme song with a little bit of remix in the middle of it, which was really cool to hear because, you know, I've always been a fan of Sanji's theme song, but I think it needed an improvement, so then trying to mess with his song and make it a little bit better and newer, cleaner for the actual next arc like Dress Rose was really awesome. Now, the entire Zoro scene with running through this entire episode, I mean, after the fairy, that was honestly a very pointless scene. I mean, it felt like they overused the same scenes over and over him, constantly running after the fairy, going different corners. I mean, it was the only major importance I got out of the entire scene with Zoro chasing after his sword or the thief fairy is that we saw him use a little bit of hockey, like detection hockey, where you actually could see what was around him because he knew where the fairy was running. So that's really cool. Zoro won't be running into place every so often now. He won't be going left when he needs to go right or go straight when he goes backwards, you know, stuff like that, at least Zoro might be able to tell where to go with his hockey now, but I mean, we, this is Zoro we're talking about, we don't know what the hell he can do, this is a man that can run straight down a hallway and somehow in the opposite direction, so I doubt hockey might even save him, but I'll say, this episode was enjoyable, I actually liked it a lot better than the last episode, just because they managed to cover up, like I said, the bad pacing, and so hopefully next episode will be kind of a lot better. I mean, the pacing will be a lot better. I mean, some people from my last episode review were telling me that pretty much that I, I couldn't probably give up One Piece for weeks and all that and, uh, you know, stop him and watch it one go, which I can agree completely on that because, I, you know, it, it would be hard for me to stop watching One Piece weekly because how much I had been into the series for so long, I don't think I could just drop it one day and wait like five to ten weeks. Even waiting two weeks would probably freaking kill me. It really might kill me just because of how awesome I love One Piece. And so, pretty much, there's not much more I can discuss about this episode besides just the character introductions, the way the plot was going, especially with how the ending was with the toy soldier, just, you no, know, kind of getting introduced with the actual Coliseum rules. I like the entire way they're setting it up, and the cliffhanger, I guess, was a good spot to end the cliffhanger, because next episode is going to be epic if they pace it properly. Well, tell me what your thoughts are on this episode of One Piece. Did y'all enjoy it? Did you hate it? What'd you think about it? I mean, what'd you think about Violet and Sanji? Y'all wonderful day or not, wherever you live, please stay safe. Chibi out.